Hey folks, so I'm a bit early getting home today. I mean, it's 7.30 p.m., but I was at Starbucks earlier, and this is the Starbucks that I always go to. I call it the hot girls Starbucks because there are always hot girls at this Starbucks. But anyways, a bunch of teenage high schoolers walk in, and man, the things they say, it just drives me crazy. I mean, being in that environment, it makes me roll my eyes. I was like, man, I, I can't stay here and listen to this stupidity any longer. So now I'm back home and I decided to make a video today for you on Go with respect to this error that took me like 30 minutes to an hour to figure out. And actually I have it up here. Um, so in Gorm, if you're using Gorm by Jinzu, which is spelled J-I-N-Z-H-U, which is this one here. Um, if you use that package, or if you run into this issue using Go in any, in any sort of format, I guess, the incorrect date time value, 0000, whatever for a column created at. So basically, you're trying to save a struct or save a model or an object, whatever you want to call it, but you can't save it because it's complaining that your created at has this incorrect date time value. So if I bring you back over to the code, what I have here is I have, this is not what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you this type event dance struct. Now this event dance struct, we're building a dance app. So it has a bunch of dances that allows uh, people who are creating events to choose what dances they do at these events. And we have all these dances. It's either going to be true or false because they're either going to offer the dance or they're not going to offer the dance at this at this event. So we have all these dances and then this is attached to an event. It belongs to an event. So when we're saving, when we get all the parameters back and we decode the JSON as we see here in line 121 into, into our dances. Oh, I didn't want to show you that. Or I wanted to show you this. We're decoding our our parameters, which is passed back in JSON into event dance, which was that struct that I was showing you. We get all the dances back and we get the event back as well. So if I show you an example, these are all the parameters that we're passing back. So how do you get that error? Well, you get that error when you don't preload the event. So if you take a look here, we are just trying to retrieve the record back from event dance that matches the event ID that we pass in. If we just do that, we're just going to get that event dance back. But to get the association so that we're updating the association, which is the event properly, we also have to preload the event. And let's take a look at Gorm actually, Gorm preload. Take a look at what this does because the docs explain it better. So preloading, if you take it to take a look at the examples here, when they do a preload of orders, they actually find the users and then they throw the user IDs into the order. So then we're getting also all the orders back with respect to the user IDs that we're interested in. So that's preloading. You need to preload it in order to not get that incorrect date time. Where did it go? That incorrect date time value error back. So that's the trick to fixing this issue. So I just wanted to show you that because it took me 30 minutes to an hour to actually figure out what was what the heck was going on. and I, and I found out that all I needed to do was do this preload event to get that association and that solved the issue. So that's it for today. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and join our mailing list and join our Facebook group since uh, I have it in the links and you might as well go do it. I'll see you guys next time.